Hello, it's Fragging Grandpa. And before I repaired the roof on the destroyed trailer, now we're looking at repairing the walls. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab this um, wall, this jump fence wall. And you can't put it right up against the wall to start with, so you just have to place it down and then slide it against the wall to where you want it to go. And it doesn't close all the way on this side because of that rail, but it does. It's a little bit better than normal. Then we'll take the other junk wall here. And we'll put it on this side the same way. Just sit it down and slide it. Place it and then slide it over. And it takes a little maneuvering. To get correct. have to maneuver it around a little bit to get it correct okay so that's about good right where we want it and this part over here you can't really put anything in here because it's just too close to the other one well, You can put it down, but then you can't really maneuver it to where you want it to go. See, it leaves that gap. Now the gap's gone, but you're kind of in the way of the doorway here. And then it's not closed like you want it to be closed. So it doesn't quite work like you want it to work. And on the other side here you try to do the same thing. But it still doesn't quite work like we want it to work. Well, it did that time before it wouldn't, but it kind of works. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, another way I did before was instead of using... I use uh, this wall and this uh, junk wall, junk fence wall, and this junk fence wall. I didn't use this one, but I think I'm going to leave that there. On this one, I'm going to remove that, and what I'm going to do is use, go on the outside, and we're going to use the... Defense, not the defense, the um, let's find it, let's find it. There's displays, the gun displays to be exact. We'll put these on the outside here and uh. let's see if we can line them up. On the outside. Sometimes it don't let you. Sometimes it does. But we keep lining them up here on the outside okay. 
still sometimes leave some little gaps in but that's all right because we it's a, it's a junky build so we're gonna let some be there to make it look junky sometime once you get sometime once you get one in it lets you build some more but because you got something to hang on to it lets you build more but sometimes it doesn't but in this case it did and just fill this in with weapons displays you go back on the inside you can see it's filled in you know it's just a little couple of little holes there and you could cover those with weapons racks from the inside and that works with that now okay so that covers that one hole and then you got all your holes covered from the outside there's a hole there that needs to be covered let's see if we can cover it with the rack I don't think we can not the whole thing let's go to a small rack look at that look at that So all that's covered from the outside and all of this side is covered now so those are the wall covers uh, another thing I had done on this side before let me just go back inside there and look at the other side here let's take this off it's a little trickier to do it the way I'm going to do it though go ahead and remove this then the wrong buttons again remove this and go over to our displays and get a long weapons display long uh, weapons display rack put it in the middle because we need something here to put our wall decor on because it won't go unless you have something to for it to hook uh, attached to well let's go back and put something else there because it won't attach to that again last time it did but this time it won't don't know why but it won't attach this time last time I worked it it attached so where's our displays 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 looking for our display we done passed it several times Now let's see if it let us attach. Yep. Let's just attach that one. We'll attach it there. And it wants to attach this one. you got to be at the right angle for it to work it says it needs support 
but it needs support there and it doesn't need support there So that fills that hole up somewhat there. And then we'll fill the hole up in the window here. Offsetting these to cover up more of the holes. So those are all the walls repaired. Well, not really repaired, but, you know, you get over here, you want to cover up some holes, you cover those. I covered them with kitchen cabinets and, and uh, appliances with my old build. And this, I just left like that, because, you know, you're going to have a little stuff sticking out, and... They kind of got a little bit covered with wall decorations and stuff. Okay, so let's go back. And you know, you can put as many of these back on there as you want to. And you could also go to wall decor and if you wanted to put like the posters in. you know, are the now the posters, you know, they don't really stick out or look like posters, but you could put those in to cover up some of the holes or you could put some signs in to cover up some of the holes you can let them sink in or you can let them stand out so you kind of sink in a little bit makes it look a little bit more junky or you can let them stand out and not look so junky cover up some of those holes with those signs like you're boarding the signs in to cover the holes up with But that's a real quick way to repair the walls in the trailer. So now we have the roof repaired and the walls repaired on the trailer. And we can go in and decorate. I already have a video up of a repaired decorated trailer. Uh, without the roof, but it's a repaired decorated trailer. So you can check that out to see. The decorations it's a tour it's not really a how-to but um, until next time this is grandpa y'all be good and be safe